In this video, we will discuss about some problems on DC circuits. Find the current supplied by 10 volts battery by using star to delta transformation for the following network shown figure. In this question, we have asked to find current supplied by the 10 volts battery, which means that the total current flowing through the circuit from the given star 2 ohms 3 ohms and 12 ohms are look like a star can be transformed to delta the formulas for delta character resistors r12 equals to r1 plus r2 plus r1 r2 by r3 r23 equals to R2 plus R3 plus R2 R3 by R1 R31 equals to R3 plus R1 plus R3 R1 by R2 by using these formulas we can change the star circuit 2 ohms 3 ohms 12 ohms to delta resistors R12 R23 R31 therefore R12 equals to 2 plus 3 plus 2 into 3 by 12 which is equal to 5.5 .5 ohms R23 equals to 3 plus 12 plus 3 into 12 by 2 which is equal to 33 ohms R31 equals to 12 plus 2 plus 12 into 2 by 3 which is equal to 20 ohms we can redraw the circuit as shown in figure by observing the circuit above circuit 4 ohms and 5.5 ohms are connected in parallel at the same time 33 ohms and 5 ohms are connected in parallel therefore 1 by r equals to 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 5.5 which means that r equals to 4 into 5.5 by 4 plus 5.5 which is 2.315 and 33 ohms and 5 ohms are currently in parallel 1 by r equals to 1 by 33 plus 1 by 5 therefore r equals to 33 into 5 by 33 plus 5 which is equals to 4.342 ohms we can redraw the circuit as shown in figure From the observation 2.315 ohms and 4.342 ohms are cutting in series therefore total resistance is 2.315 plus 4.342 which is equal to 6.657 ohms so again 6.657 ohms and 22 ohms are cutting in parallel therefore r equals to 6.657 into 22 by 6.657 plus 22 which is equal to 5.110 ohms the tot this is the total resistance therefore the total current i equals to v by r total 10 by 5.110 equals to 1.956 amperes using mesh analysis find current flowing through the 5 ohms resistor in this question we have been asked to find current flowing through the 5 ohm resistor so we need to assume three currents in three individual loops we can consider in any direction here we are considering all the three currents are in clockwise direction by considering the currents clockwise in individual loops i1 in the first loop i2 in the second loop and i3 in the third loop step one in loop one using mesh analysis we get minus 10 into i1 minus i2 since we are writing the first loop equation the current flow through 10 ohms is difference between i1 and i2 since the currents are in opposite i1 current is opposite to the i2 current flow direction for 6 ohm resistor also i1 current is opposite to the i3 current direction hence the equation is minus 10 into i1 minus i2 
minus 6 into i1 minus i3 plus 100 equals to 0. By separating i1, i2 and i3 times, we can get minus 16 i1 plus 10 i2 plus 6 i3 plus 100 equals to 0. This is equation number 1. Step 2. In loop 2, using best analysis, we get minus 10 into i2 minus i1 minus 15 into i2 minus 5 into i2 minus i3 equals to 0. Since current flow length is 15 ohms is only i2, there is no other branch. That's why minus 15 i2. For 10 ohm resistor, it is a common branch between first loop and second loop. That's why i2 minus i1. For 5 ohms also, it is a common branch between second loop and third loop. That's why i2 minus i3. By separating i1, i2, and i3 times, 10 i1 minus 30 i2 plus 5 i3 equals to 0, which is equation number 2. Step 3. In loop 3, using mesh analysis, we get minus 6 into i3 minus i1 minus 5 into i3 minus i2 minus 8 i3 equals to 0. By separating i1, i2 and i3 times, we get 6 i1 plus 5 i2 minus 9 i3 equals to 0, which is equation number 3. By solving equations 1, 2 and 3, we get i1 equals to 10.602 amperes, i2 equals to 4.280 amperes and i3 equals to 4.474 amperes. The current flow through the 5 ohm is either i3 minus i2 or i2 minus i3. Therefore, i2 minus i3 equals to 4.230 minus 4.474 which is equals to minus 0.194 amperes. Since the direction of current is opposite to the assumed direction therefore that is from left to right the current flow through the fiber trees from left to right this which is the direction of i3 direction find vx for the circuit shown in figure by observation the current flow through the eight of rest trees five five amperes therefore the voltage across eight of rest trees 825 equals to 40 volts from KVL in loop 1, the voltage across 10 ohms is 60 minus 40, which is equal to 20 volts. The KVL states that the algebraic sum of voltage in a closed loop is 0. 60 volt is the supply voltage, and the voltage drops are 40 volts and 20 volts. Therefore, the voltage across 10 ohms resistor is 20 volts. From ohms in I equals to V by R, the current flow in the 10 ohm resistor is 20 by 10 equals to 2 amperes. The 2 amperes current is flowing through the 10 ohm resistor and 5 amperes current is flowing through the 8 ohm resistor. At point P, the current flow through the 4 ohm resistor is 5 minus 2 equals to 3 amperes. Therefore, the current in the 4 ohm resistor is 3 amperes. 3 amperes and the voltage will be 3 into 4 equals to 12 volts. From KVL, again by applying KVL, we can obtain the voltage across 2 ohm resistor is 20 minus 12 which is equal to 8 volts. Since the current source is in parallel with the 2 ohm resistor, therefore the value of Vx equals to 8 volts. For the network shared figure, find IL using network reduction technique. The question 10 ohms and 35 ohms are currently in series, therefore 10 ohms plus 35 equals to 45 ohms. Now 25 ohms and 45 ohms are currently in parallel, therefore 1 by R equals to 1 by 45 plus 1 by 25, which is equals to R, therefore R equals to 45 and 25 by 45 plus 25 equals to 16.071 ohms. 16.071 ohms and 15 ohms are currently in series, therefore total resistance is 31.071 ohms. And the total current IE equals to V by R 100 by 31.071 is 3.218 amperes. By using current due schedule, the current flowing through any element equals to total current multiplied by opposite resistor by total resistor plus opposite resistor. Therefore, the current flow through RL which is equal to current flow through the 45 ohms resistor equals to 3.218 into 25 by 45 plus 25 which is equal to 1.149 amperes. Thank you for watching.
प्लीज़ शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब इफ यू लाइक